how to make red pepper braised wild rice. Now the recipe is taken from my recent book In the Mood for Entertaining and you'll find it alongside the recipe for pork and porcini stroganoff. The two work really well together but the recipe for this rice works very nicely as a standalone recipe you can have with any meal whether it's meat or fish or just as a vegetarian main course. Now the ingredients you need, 40 grams of butter, one large onion chopped, a couple of cloves of garlic either crushed or chopped, got two red peppers seeded and finely chopped, one bay leaf, 250 grams of basmati and wild rice, 500 millilitres of vegetable or chicken stock and 150 grams of spinach leaves. So the first thing you need to do is get yourself an oven proof braising pan or casserole dish with a lid and just place it over a medium heat and then when it's nice and warm you're just going to add your butter and just let that melt. And now it's at that lovely bubbling stage, I'm going to add some onion, the garlic and the red pepper. And on a low to medium heat, you just want to sauté this for about 10 minutes until it's all softened but not coloured. Okay, so now the onion, the garlic and the red pepper are lovely and soft. I'm going to add my bay leaf and the rice. Stir around in the pan, just so the rice coats in with all the butter and vegetables. And then I'm going to add my stock. I've got chicken stock here, but you can use vegetables if you prefer. Just stir around, a pinch of salt and pepper. And then you just want to cover it with a lid and place it in the oven on 170 or 150 for fan ovens, gas mark 3, for about 20 minutes. So the rice has had a good 20 minutes of cooking time and the stock has absorbed into the rice so it's lovely and fluffy. Now at this stage you can just leave it for a few minutes but you could leave it for up to 30 minutes in the pan without lifting off the lid because it will still stay lovely and hot. And now we can take off the lid and I'm going to add the spinach straight into the rice and all that heat from the rice will just wilt the spinach but it won't make it really soggy. A lovely green, fresh flavour, fresh colour running all the way through. Just give it a really good stir. And there it is, you have your red pepper braised wild rice, ready to enjoy with your pork and porcini stroganoff or anything else that you fancy. Ooh, ooh, ooh.